Episode 2 begins with Hirodo reaching the dorm. On arrival, Hirodo is greeted by his live and assistant Shirayuki Himeji, a student of District Rizuke Academy. Hirodo is taken aback and nervous by the formality and hospitality and urges Shirayuki to take it easy and relax. The two then head over to have a huge, lavish dinner prepared for Hirodo who isn't used to this level of luxury. Hiroto insists Shiryuki also dine with him. The pair head to a secret room for a strategic briefing session. A one star pretending to be a seven star using the red star is almost like a scam and needs to proceed with caution. Shiryuki briefs Hirodo about the regions and academy ranking of the island. In reality, Hirodo is also only a one star and will only be able to use the level one attacks. Given the drawbacks, it is in the company's best interest that Hiro maintains the seven-star status and will go to any lengths to back him up. Hiroto is introduced to the five members who will assist him in winning the games. Kegaye is the tech support that can use hacking as a means to win a game. Later that day, Hiroto pulls an easy win with Kagaya's hacking skills. Back on campus though, Hiroto has already gained popularity. The class have a tournament just to decide who gets to show him around. This tour is interrupted as Hirodo receives another favorable game request. This game event is organized by the Libra Media Organization and is held in a huge stadium with a cheering audience. The challenger for this game is Yurisaka Haru Senpai, a rank three star. Yurisaka challenges Hirodo to an anything goes 100M race. For the race, Urasaka brings out her motorbike. As per prior research, Urasaka generally uses three abilities that aren't the defensive ability. If all goes as planned, Hirado's interferences will not be blocked. However, as Urasaka now reveals, she is indeed using the nullify interference by the opponent's ability. Urasaka starts the race at an extremely high speed. However, upon heading for the finish line, the bike abruptly stops and she falls off. Prior to the match, Shiryuki selected Completely Disable as one of his abilities. This ability temporarily disables all the defensive abilities of the opponent. The next ability used was Force Stop. And finally, the most important, Kagaya's hacking to make the bike stop. This bags Hirodo yet another victory. After the match, Rainer reluctantly walks up to Hiroto for not being able to see him get humiliated. However, he's also glad he didn't lose and lets the next holder of the star know her true identity. Rena hands him an invitation note to meet up with her at a cafeteria. The two meet undercover at a cafe and get talking about what's going on. Rina Akabane starts to tell him about how things came to be this way. The Sianji family's kids never left the house until about high school, so they have companions instead, and Rina was one of them. However, one day Sarasa got kidnapped and the family was waiting for word from the kidnappers. In the meanwhile, they needed someone to take the place of Sarasa, and that's why Rina had to maintain the lie with a 100% clear record. She also explains that Aimee's headmistress wouldn't have a reason to protect him if the girl he beat wasn't Sarasa. This would be a problem for Hirato, as he had a very specific purpose of being there. He was looking for someone. Specifically, a childhood friend who he hadn't seen in years and believed to be on this island. He couldn't afford to do anything that would get him kicked off the island. The two form an alliance and exchange IDs to stay in touch.